Russia's image abroad continues to be a source of consternation both for the Kremlin and for ordinary people. And while it can be argued that dealing with criticism ought to be part of politicians' job description, when it comes to regular Russian citizens, these people often feel themselves to be unfairly pigeonholed. The Moscow News spoke to another group of regular people, following us on the streets of Moscow. Many of them confessed that for them Russia has defied expectations. Tourism seems to be one of the answers to the problem of misunderstanding and miscommunication. Moscow authorities now have an ambitious goal, turning the Russian capital into a real tourist attraction, though they have yet to succeed. I thought it would be everything a little bit older and I saw lots of stuff that was like pretty new and yeah, and people here, they're so beautiful. Not a lot of people speak English here, and I thought it would be lots of people speak English here. So it's a tourist place, but no one speaks English, and we can't find signs on the street in English. We're impressed with the city, very cosmopolitan, coming from New York. Um, very busy. Uh, I think the people are well-dressed, uh, look very nice. We were not taught anything about Russian history. Yes, that's the difference. We know nothing at all about Russian history and therefore we have no understanding. Well, we know, we, we we know. know that the country very can smart. be technically capable. Yes. Um, but the, the news uh, t tends to want to paint a, uh, you know, a negative political image as, as people we're to learning. people. Um, if the politicians would get out of the way, I think things would be very good. Well, the water just broke down in our hotel, so we don't have any toilets or showers. <laughs> That's it. The stereotypical um, thing about Russia compared to the Netherlands is it's more conservative. Um, as in also in uh, the comparison of free market to a more closed market in economics. That's, that's the difference. I like everything in Moscow really apart from the traffic <laughs> which is pretty disastrous. I think now that everybody is pretty happy and pretty impressed by Russia, Russia does seem to be moving forward uh, with leaps and bounds so uh, I think it's got quite a good image at home. I think there's still a lot of uh, people who don't know a great deal about Russia and they still think back to the pre-era uh, of Soviet uh, era but it's, it has moved on enormously now and I think more people who come as tourists or people who work here or get involved in business here suddenly realise that it's just, just like Europe but just like the rest of the world. It has good bits and it has bad bits. Yeah, I, I would think it's just the preconception of it being quite tough and quite scary but it's not at all. Signs in English, <laughs> of and maybe some um, information centres. If I tourists, for people to travel. Yes, yes. Back the and more you accept. Uh, the more your country more is easily. open to yes, tourism, that's the only way. That's the only, that's way. The only yeah. way. Exactly. The only maybe, way. maybe some information points, as in English information points, where a tourist can can find stuff like maps of the of the city and things like that, you know, like pointers. You should go there and watch that or look at this church, things like that. I think it probably, it has to happen at all levels. It has to be a combination of uh, political and government and, uh, and tourism, really. It has to be more opened up for tourism. Well, you continue what you're doing now because I think the public relations that you gain by doing these kinds of things and opening up the country for people to come in and visit, the tourism is actually essential. Anna Suleiman for the Moscow News.